Hello everyone, welcome to the VTU Center for Online Education program. I am Dr. Kumar PK, working as an assistant professor at VTU Postgraduate Center, Mysuru. So, uh, today we are uh, going to discuss about uh, fundamentals of C programming and uh, these are the learning objectives of this particular course and uh, the content, the agenda of this uh, session will try to discuss the introduction of C programming and different types of programming languages, structure of the C program and how to compile and execute the C programs and also we need to know what do you mean by variable and how to define a variable, also a constant, the definition and how to define a constant and also the input output statements, how to define an input and output statements in C programming and also the different uh, set of operators which we use in C programming. We will try to discuss one by one. First focus on uh, introduction of C programming. So, as we all know C is a general purpose programming language which was created by the person Dennis Ritchie in the year of 1972 at Bell Laboratories. The name itself says it is a general purpose programming language. You can use this programming language for any purpose to develop any kind of applications and also it is very popular language even though it is uh, quite old but still it is very popular. The reason for this is because it is a very fundamental language in the field of computer science. Even though we have so many languages now, but it is very fundamental language and I think everyone will use this programming language as the first or you know basic programming language through this only they will start their programming journey. So, that is how you know uh, we call it as very popular language. And uh, another important point is it is an associated with uh, Unix operating system as it was developed to write the Unix operating system. The reason uh, basically it was why it was associated with, with Unix because it was developed to write the programs or you know uh, with respect to the Unix operating system. So, that is the reason uh, it is associated with the Unix. Why do we need to learn C? It is very important question. Even though we have so many other programming languages as I told you in the previous uh, slide, uh, you know it is a popular programming language even though it is a old language. So, why do we need to learn? As already in the previous slide we have discussed it is one of the most program, you know popular programming language and also uh, in C you will have no problem of learning the other programming languages. With the help of C you can easily you can switch on to any other programming languages if you want to explore or you know if you want to learn other new languages like C, C++, C Ash, Java, Python, any other languages because most of the other languages which was uh, which are built based on these uh, based on this particular programming language because most of uh, you know these programming languages syntax is quite similar to the uh, C programming. That is a uh, one of the main reason everybody is uh, you know start, everybody will start their programming journey through C programming before getting to the Python or Java or C++ people will start uh, you know learning the C and then they will jump into the other programming languages which they want to learn because uh, you know syntax is very uh, similar and also it is a very uh, fast with compared to the other programming languages like and Java. Now, what aspect it is very fast when it comes to the compilation or execution, when you compare with the other languages like Java and Python, it is quite uh, or you know it is very fast. And also uh, versatile, it can be used in both the application as well as uh, the technology point of view. So, that is where we can say C is a uh, very versatile uh, language. I think uh, this slide will give you the complete uh, uh, picture about uh, the language. So, it is not only uh, the programming language with respect to the C or with respect to any programming language, even though uh, even you take uh, our own language, whether it may be English or it may be Kannada or it may be Telugu, any regional language, 
So, uh, the same uh, the structure the same way uh, even we will learn our uh, programming language also. Traditionally uh, in traditional languages how we start our uh, you know learning journey first we will try to understand or you know we will try to learn the alphabets Varnamala like that and then by using that we will start uh, you know uh, writing the words. If you take any other uh, regional language we will uh, you know we will start uh, uh, you know learning uh, in Kannada if you take it is Kagunita or Barakadi in Hindi. So, through that you know we will try to understand and then we will try to make a, a form and words. With the help of words once we start to learn you know uh, completing the uh, you know learning in words perspective then we will go with framing the sentences along with the you know with the help of grammar right. So, with the help of grammar we will try to make a sentence and the same grammar will help you to uh, prepare a paragraph. It is a combination of sentences become a combination of words, words is a combination of or collection of alphabets, sentence is a collection of words and paragraph is a collection of sentence. That is how you know we will start uh, uh, we will learn our uh, language. In the same way even in our programming language also we will learn in the same aspect. First, we will try to understand the alphabets. First, we will try to understand the alphabets, digits and the special symbols. So, this we call it as a character set in the programming language, because we are going to uh, frame a different statements. And before that first you know what are the character sets or the programming constructs, which we call it as programming constructs what are the how we are going to construct with the help of alphabets yes we can take the help of same English language and we will make use of the same alphabets whether it may be an upper case lower case all all the alphabets and then the digits yes we have a digits 0 to 9. So, we can take all the digits and also a special symbols we have a hash comma semicolon colon by collecting all these components we call it as character set. So, this by making use of this character set we will then later we will try to create a constant or we will define a constant or a variable or it may be keywords. What do you mean by constant? What do you mean by variable or keywords? I think going forward we will try to understand one by one. I think in, over, in general first you know in the eye level point of view I will say constant it is like you know 10 it is a predefined or fixed meaning like means you cannot change its value constant variable basically all these are like you know we can say call it as a, uh, you know uh, container you can store something variable you can store you can assign some value to that uh, identifier nothing but the variable that will uh, provide a space to that particular val value. The value might be an alphabet or only it may be a digit or it may be a combination of both anything, but basically it just you know provide a space to store something. It is a fixed value here you can change the value at any point of time that is a variable and keywords. Even keyword is also a combination of or you know it is derived from this character set only, but which are predefined you cannot change that because the programming that is how you know the programming language has its own meaning predefined meaning. You cannot use those keywords as an identifier or you know as an variable name in your programming which are fixed or predefined. So, these are the uh, keywords ok. So, uh, you know by using this character set it framed constants variables and keywords. Once we uh, you know ready with the constants or you know how to define a constant or a variable or uh, you know how to use the existing or predefined words as a keyword then we will slowly start writing the instructions. So, instructions is nothing but as we have seen in our uh, you know the traditional language we will write the words and by combining the words we will try to make a sentence. How do we make the sentence? We cannot uh, combine all the words just as it is always we go with the concept of grammar right. In the same way here also we have a syntax, syntax means this is how you know the grammar for the programming how you need to define a instruction 
or how do you define a statement. So, we have and how to define a variable or how to define a uh, constant. Just you know basic, basically by using these uh, instructions, we will make a set of instructions and combination of or in a set of those instructions or with the help of those instructions, we will write a program in the respective language. Here our language is C. So, now C has its own way of defining the instructions. So, those instructions are from the set of uh, the constants, variables and even uh, the keywords and then uh, that will be derived from your character set of the respective programming language. This is how you know uh, programming, uh, this is how we will learn the programming language. Not only see it applies even other programming language also. Every programming uh, language is start by the character set, then to define how to define an identifier, maybe it may be a uh, variable or it may be a constant and how to frame a sentence with the, by using the respective uh, programming language syntax. Then by using all those instructions, we will start writing the program. Program is nothing but set of instructions to perform or you know to accomplish a particular task. This is how you know we need to learn uh, C programming in uh, this course. So, that is what a program, a computer program is just a collection of that is what we have discussed in the last session. A computer program is just a collection of instructions necessarily to solve a specific problem. Why do you define a set of instructions? To solve a particular problem. What is your problem? I am just looking to add two numbers or to find a biggest of two numbers or to calculate percentage of the semester or to calculate the average of the IA marks, anything whenever you have a specific task to solve or you know that is what to solve such problem specific problem we need to write the set of instruction that collection of those instructions we call it as program. The basic operations of a computer system which forms what is known as computers instruction set. The basic operations of a computer system which forms whatever you defined as a instruction based on that instruction. If I say a plus b or 2 plus 3, the instruction here is plus, I need to add the numbers 2 and 3, that is the instruction I am giving. So, automatically it will perform based on the instruction, it will start performing. Right? The approach or the method to solve that specific problem, which we call it as algorithm. Algorithm is nothing but the steps or the approach or even we call it as a method step by step approach or the method which we use to solve a particular problem that we call it as an algorithm. Before directly writing any uh, instructions or a program, first you know we need to know the algorithm because you know through those steps it is very easy for us to write a uh, instructions with respect to the uh, steps to solve that problem. So, that algorithm will give you the clarity, will give you an idea what kind of instructions or how to use those instructions to solve the specific problem. So, that is the meaning of uh, algorithm, that is the reason uh, we require an algorithm before uh, writing a program. So, uh, I think we will uh, just quickly uh, summarize. Uh, what we have discussed in the uh, introduction of the C programming and also uh, will uh, you know understand how the learning uh, will start with respect to the programming. So, basically it was developed by the Dennis Ritchie at Bell Laboratories. It is similar to your uh, you know it is like you know which was uh, developed uh, basically it is similar to your Unix as it is uh, used to develop a Unix operating system. And why do we need to learn? Yes, it is a very simple and it is even though it is a quite old, but uh, this syntax is similar to most of the other programming languages or whichever the language you want to learn like C++, C hash or Java or Python. So, most of the uh, languages uh, syntax is similar to C programming, that is the reason people are preferring uh, you know, first learning language as a C. 
and that is how you know it is so popular. And also we have seen how we need to start our learning journey like you know first we need to understand the character set and then we will uh, we need to uh, you know know the about uh, variables, constants and what, is, what are the keywords and the conventions how to define a variable and constants that is with respect to the syntax of the respective programming language through that we will make a instructions and then do by using those set of instructions we will write a program. This is what uh, you know the old summary of this. So, uh, we will continue in the next session.